What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where today we're talking about Alfa Romeo's larger ESUV and really the rumors that are going around about it in the market. Now, there's a lot of talk about the Alfa Romeo's future relaunch plan, which will most likely be unveiled between the end of 2021 and at the beginning of 2022 next year. And apparently this plan will include numerous new models in the market segment in which Alfa Romeo has been missing for a long time or even not has there ever been. Now among the latter is also the new talk of the larger Stelvio ESUV and according to insiders that will certainly not be missing in the future range of the Milanese car manufacturer. Now this in particular if Stellantis really wants to relaunch the brand globally transforming it into a real global brand as anticipated in the recent days by its new number one CEO Jean-Philippe. This new ESUV will not be born on the elongated version of the Giorgio's modular platform as was thought up until a few weeks ago, but on a new Stellantis STLA large platform. Now this model will be essential to do well in important markets for the relaunch of the brand such as the Middle East, USA, and China. And the length of such a model could be around 490 to 500 centimeters. In short, it would be a model certainly not suitable for European roads and in particular for Italian roads, but that would certainly be in the line with the taste of the Chinese and North American customers. Now the engines would be shared with other large models belonging to the ranges of the Stellantis brands. And there would certainly be an electrified version and later maybe be even a 100% electric one. Now this future model of Alfa Romeo would have luxury in its main feature. In addition, technology would also be a master in the cockpit and the arrival on the market of the top version of the quadrifolio range is likely. Now in fact, learning in the recent weeks, CEO Jean-Philippe said that he intends to expand the quadrifolio range to other models besides the Giulia and Stelvio, making it a real line within the brand. So with that said, do you think that Alfa Romeo needs a bigger SUV to stay in line with the Chinese and US markets. We know that here in the United States, Alfa Romeo will have the Giulia sedan, the Stelvio SUV, and the Tonale PH EV, but with the Alfa Romeo BSUV likely not coming here to the United States, an ESUV or a larger SUV might be in the works, might make a lot of sense. Let me know what you guys think though down in the comments below. Does Alfa Romeo need a larger SUV to sit on the STLA large platform? And if they did, would there be a quadrifolio model of that version? Definitely want to know what you guys think down in the comments below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Giving the video a thumbs up will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we could talk about the possibility of Alfa Romeo's new large ESUV. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, make sure you check the links down below where I have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, Cash App, and Venmo. Just in case you guys want to donate a couple of dollars to the channel, help support your boy. You can also check out the Rise Rise merch where you can get t-shirts, stickers, long sleeve shirts, tank tops, everything Rise Rise. Now, I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. So everything I'm posting, Ferrari, Maserati, and Alfa Romeo, that doesn't always make it here to the channel. And make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. With that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day. And we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise video. Peace.